Hello, Grant. Hello. Um, we are thrilled to have you here. Uh -huh. And uh, will you start to give us a brief introduction about yourselves for our audience? Certainly. Uh, my name is Grant Likely. I am the Chief Technical Officer of Lunaro. Um, and uh, so my background, well, Lunaro's background is we are, we do uh, software in the ARM ecosystem to make sure that open source is well supported on the ARM architecture. Uh, and my background personally is uh, I was a Linux kernel engineer. I was responsible for a lot of the enablement of, uh, of the ARM architecture, of stabilizing that and being able to have cross-platform support. Um, so I've worked very closely with the, the Linux community over the years. Yeah, uh, that's great. Uh, I understand that uh, Linaro and OpenOiler have been uh, long-standing mm -hmm. collaborations. That's right. So could you share some insights uh, into this partnership and highlight yeah. some of the yes. key contributions uh, we have made together to the yes. operating, uh, open source yes. ecosystem? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so the collaboration with OpenEuler has been, has been really exciting because it has been in the last number of years, we've gone from, we've taken ARM into a place where it is used in the data center. And to do that, we've needed to have strong software support. You know, application vendors who want to run on the ARM architecture, they need to have solid support in the operating system for the workloads that they, they care about. And with, with Open Euler, uh, that has been a key enabler in the, uh, in the market for, uh, for software vendors, for users who want to need that operating system, they have to have good support for their accelerators and functions that, uh, that, that they depend on. Uh, so in the collaboration with OpenEuler, we have worked on key parts of the technology that's important to the entire ARM ecosystem, and then helped to get that landed in OpenEuler itself so that it can by, be used by the, by the OpenEuler community. Uh, some of the collaborations that we've specifically worked on is we've worked on uh, uh, on software-defined storage. So we've worked on uh, LustreFS, we've uh, worked on, on Ceph, on optimizing, making sure that it runs well on ARM, making sure that it's usable. Uh, we've worked on big data projects with, uh, with BigTop and, and other data science things so that uh, that is enabled on ARM for HPC and then also enabled in, in the Open Euler project. Um, and uh, we've also collaborated on a, a more of a social project with a, an ecosystem dashboard, which is a way to go and find out the landscape of software that works well on ARM and that is enabled well in Open Euler. Um, and then going forward, we've been working together on the next step of expanding the ARM architecture, which is being able to enable confidential compute and all the ARM architecture that goes with that. Uh, it, look, it looks like so we actually really done some very good, yes. uh, accomplished uh, uh, a lot of goals. So uh, thank you for sharing those details. And uh, so looking for looking ahead, uh, what do you think uh, as the main challenge for uh, growing the ARM ecosystems? Mm -hmm. And how do you think Linaro and Omar can work together yes. to like, face those challenges? I, I think fundamentally, uh, everything is about community. Everything is about being able to work together because the problems that we have in the ARM space are not problems that any one company can solve. That we actually need to collaborate, we need to work with all the partners who are in the ARM ecosystem to help to, uh, to identify the problems, work on common problems, and go in and solve them. So a lot of the fundamentals, I think, for deploying on ARM already exist. We've solved those problems. Now, most of the, uh, in the data center space, the, the work that needs to be did, done is taking individual applications, individual workloads, opt, uh, profiling them, optimizing them, uh, enabling acceleration where accelerators are available, get that working in the mainline projects so that it then can flow down into OpenEuler and the other distributions uh, so that application vendors can actually use it. Uh, in the case of, you know, a, a lot of the time we tend to, we're working with the technologists who are working on the core technology. For application developers who want to make use of that, uh, a lot of times they don't have the, the time or the, the space to actually go and get deep into the details of how the technology works. They need it to be there. 
So the more we find the places that need optimization and enablement and get that into the main projects, the more adoption there is going to be on ARM. So those fundamentals are there. On the next steps, I think as we're approaching, you know, uh, I mean, the two big areas that I would look at is one is confidential compute. Uh, and I already talked about that, of how enabling the confidential compute uh, architecture in an open source way is really critical. And then another is, is AI. And uh, we are in the middle of a hype cycle with AI, but AI, doing inferencing, doing training, those are fundamental workloads. Those just need to work. And so the next step, I think, is going to be taking all of the uh, uh, creativity and all the exploration that's been happening with AI and stabilize it and get it to the point where all the, the frameworks that are needed to run AI workloads are in place. Um, and then the last thing that I would highlight is I think there's a huge space, a huge opportunity for growth in the edge market where these are platforms that have traditionally been embedded and traditionally have been building custom stacks to go and run on these platforms. But as that market is developing and as it's becoming more cloud native, we have, uh, we need those platforms standardized. And so like the data center, which is really well standardized and runs the open user, we are now looking at the same thing in embedded. Bring standards in there, bring in UEFI, bring in uh, distros that just boot without a custom build, and then that expands the adoption of ARM. Yeah, uh, actually I totally agree with you with the community stuff. And uh -huh. also, you know, Open Euler has been uh, working <coughs> as a uh, for multi-use cases, yeah. uh, operating systems uh -huh. and multi-architecture architecture for the day, the first day of open order. So I think there's pretty much uh, everything you mentioned mm -hmm. is actually what we can collaborate in the future. And Absolutely. I think we already have a very uh, promising plan for yes. this. So we're looking forward to co collaborate more in the future. Absolutely, me too. Okay, thank All you right. for your time. Thank you very much.